Hey y'all, what's good? We all know I have really dry skin and in the winter time, my skin is even worse. I take my Ole Regeneris. This stuff was $23, but it works miracles. If you don't want to spend the coin on this one, I also recommend the Cetaphil. It's also really good, but it's like half the price and they both get five stars in my opinion. <laughs> With dry skin comes dry lips, so I take my Lush Sugar Plum Fairies Lip Scrub and I just rub this all on my lips. It gets all the dead skin off because I've been wearing so many matte lipsticks, but it's vegan so you can lick it straight off, girl. Now you're just going to want to moisturize your lips. I'm just using the Dr. Lip Moisturizer. I did my eyebrows off camera, but if you guys want to see a video on that, I'll list my eyebrow routine in the description box. Using the Inglot Eyeshadow Keeper, I'm going to be using this around my lips. This is not mandatory. I just do this because after a while of talking or smiling, I get these little lines around my lips, and honestly, it is not cute. And by using this stuff, it just makes sure that your foundation does not separate, and it works for me. <laughs> After doing that, you are always going to want to set this with a translucent or no color powder. Me, of course, I'm going to use my RCMA no color powder. And you don't need a lot because you don't want a white flashback. Just a little, just enough to set. Now I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This foundation, I swear to you guys, is perfect for people with dry skin in the winter time. It is hydrating but full coverage. Like, And this is like a holy grail product. It's so full coverage and so hydrating. Your face, if you have dry skin, will thank you so much. I love this stuff, and you can find it at your Sephora. And I'm in the shade Chestnut, if any of you guys were wondering. This is just me raving about the foundation. The foundation also gives you a luminous finish and not a matte finish. And people with dry skin, we sometimes need that matte finish because our skin is already dry enough and we don't want to crack and flake throughout the day. So if you have dry skin, you understand me. Going in with my Kat Von D concealer, I'm just going to apply this to the places where I feel like my skin could have a little bit more coverage. And I'm just going to buff that in with a brush. Today I decided not to use a beauty blender because beauty blenders honestly are expensive. $20 for a sponge is like a lot of money. So getting a brush set or a really good brush is always a great idea. Going with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade I really don't know. But I'm going to put this under my eyes and I'll make sure I list the color of this shade down in the description box and I also put this along my nose and my chin. I would use my ABH um, foundation stick but that one is way lighter than this one and every day I really don't need like a super poppin highlight. I just want a little, you know, steal the shell type of glow, not nothing too serious. <music> powder again I'm going to apply that under my eyes I'm not going to be baking and I'm not going to be using a lot number one because I have really dry skin number two because this is an everyday look and I don't have time to bake every single day but I'm also going to be putting this on my forehead just to remove some of that luminous glow I mean I like the glow but I like a matte finish too so I'm just gonna be a little bit more matte and I'm just gonna pat that in really good because this stuff will leave you with a white cast if you don't Taking my ABH contour set, I'm going to contour my face and just blend that out with, what brush is this? I think it's the Coastal Scents brush. I'll list all the brushes I use down in the description box. And if you check out my Black Friday haul, the brushes that I'm using are in that haul as well. So you guys, I have the iPhone 7 and usually I record on my iPhone 6, but oh my gosh, this is like picking up on all my acne and I'm so not used to it. Like my skin looks so bad on camera. It's not even this bad in real life, but this camera like picks up on every single flaw I have on my skin and it's like, uh, cringe. Taking the excess, I'm just going to contour my nose. I'm not going to apply any more product to it because I don't like a harsh nose contour. Going back in, I'm going to clean up that contour so it's not going down too low so that it doesn't look muddy. All of that jazz girl can't look muddy. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and apply it under there. And I'm also going to set my eyes with that so that any foundation or any product that got on my eyes does not crease on me. Taking the LA Girl Pro Face Powder, I'm going to set my contour. 
Y'all not ready for it, but I'm going to take this Milani Tantastic. And this stuff right here is going to make the sun kiss your cheeks. Like, this makes you so glowy. It is a bronzer, but it's perfect as a highlighter. And guess what? It was $10, and you could probably find it at Target on sale for like $7 or $8. And you're always going to want to take this up your nose. And usually I don't put highlighter on my forehead because it is already big enough, child. But today I went a little crazy, and I put it on my forehead, put it on my chin. I went all out. Also took this on my brow bone because it just made my brows look so much better and so much more structured and I don't wear lashes I mix these two mascaras and it gives me perfect lashes hopping right over to my morphe 350s palette I'm gonna take this light shade and put it right in the inner corners of my eyes if you think this is doing too much don't do it it's your face you do your own makeup however you like it if you want to keep this lip keep it if not I'm switching to the color pop matte lip cream lap matte lipstick in the shade viper it's really pretty this is the completed look you guys this is my everyday winter skin routine i hope you guys liked it if you did like it make sure you like comment subscribe share with your friends love you guys